This guy is Ibn Khaldun. He was an historian in the 14th century who suggested that one generation of nomadic warriors might conquer a complacent city, their children might be able to defend it, but their grandchildren, soft from luxury, would be unable to defend it from another generation of nomadic warriors, whose children, you get the idea, the big wheel keeps on turning. Fast forward to 1972, and American political scientist Anthony Downs puns on his name to produce Up and Down with Ecology, the Issue Attention Cycle. He suggested a five-stage model for, well, attention to an issue. Stage one, he labelled the pre-problem phase. Nobody but a few scientists or activists are much bothered. In stage two, alarmed discovery and euphoric enthusiasm, something happens. A scandal, a disaster, a book gets published. Some kind of what is now called focusing event, and the issue does get into the newspapers or onto the TV news. Stage three is called realising the cost of significant progress. There's a gradual grokking of the cost of solving the problem. Stage four sees a gradual decline of intense public interest as people realise the actual costs, others get discouraged, others feel threatened, others still bored, especially the journalists. And anyway, other issues are newer, shinier. The final post-problem stage sees the issue in limbo, with occasional spasmodic recurrences of interest, but the level is higher th of interest is higher than it was at the pre-problem stage, because not everyone's forgotten. It's a beautiful, simple, intuitive heuristic. And of course, therefore, quite problematic. Why do some issues take off and others don't? Do issues get stuck at a particular stage, or reverse? Why? How? Are there other possible outcomes? Mahan and Waddick, 1992, produced a graph, you can see here, that offered different possible non-resolutions of an issue, with a return to apathy, the solution has worked, at least in the view of those who want it off the policy agenda, confidence in solution, and failure intensified concern. Bigelow et al., 1993, note that issues may progress recursively, cycling back and forth through the stages, and warn that such issues may in fact not be resolved. Combining issue attention cycle literature with the greening of industry literature, Frank Gills and Caetano Penno, Penna developed the dialectic issue life cycle model, the DILK. It delves into what different actors, those trying to push the issue up the political agenda, those trying to push it down, do within the five phases. Also, and this is crucial, what sorts of research and development might a company or an industry try to take to come up with a neat and depoliticizing techno fix. So, issues, in the sense of a socially constructed worry, can come and go while the underlying problem just builds and builds. Does the rise of social media and Web 2.0 actually change the issue attention cycle? If so, how, when, why? All good questions. Watch this space, perhaps.